Hi, we were looking at lofting, uh, which is creating a mesh along a curve. Um, I thought I'd show you a way we can use it um, as a practical application. Um, let's say we wanted to make a like a rope belt or something. Um, we can select a loop, so I'm going to Alt Shift right click that loop around there. I need to separate that loop off, so I'm going to do Shift D Enter to duplicate it, and then P separate by selection. Uh, tab into object mode, then just select just this loop on its own. Now, with that loop selected, I can go Object Convert to Mesh uh, Curve from Mesh. So when we select it now, we've got a curve instead of um, a mesh, which allows us to do the lofting process. Um, now we need a control shape. So I'm going to add a curve circle over here and scale it right down small because it only needs to be tiny. for the time being. Now select that um, curve we created first. Select the um, curve options and then go down to bevel object here and choose the Bezier circle we added in. And you can see we've, we've turned this into like a, a string. Now we've got the option where we can we can edit this uh, we can select objects by grabbing them just like we did before. Uh, and you could use this to make like piping around, uh, you could run piping down the edges of the legs or around, or you can make belts. We can scale it up, scale it down. I'm curious to know what happens if I try and extrude from here. Nothing at all. Oh, no, no, yeah, we can extrude. There we go. So we can. Um, Extrude, 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 like a dangly string thing. Which was that one? Let us do two. Extrude, yes it will. So you can come up with a oops, interesting, interesting things. You, you can even knot these two together or make a bow or a loop. Um, and if we scale up um, our control curve circle, we can just just how thick this thing looks. It's pretty good. Once you're happy with it, um, see at the moment it's got quite a lot of topology in it. I'm, I'm just wondering whether we can show this. Uh, no, we can't. Um, but you've got a preview U factor here. Uh, which is by, by default set to 12. As I turn it down, can you see how the mesh gets simpler? Or if I turn it up, it gets a lot more complicated. Um, we need it as low as we can get it without it looking rubbish. Um, because the more polygons things have, eventually the slower blend will work. If you're using it in a game, it will overly tax the engine. So you want it as low as you can get it, ideally. Now, then with it selected we can turn this back into a mesh to do that we would go back to object like we did earlier convert to and then use mesh from curve now if we hit tab we can see we've got a proper mesh um, which then we can add a material to in exactly the same way 